Let's talk about these botulinum toxins. Um, can, can you just give an idea of why you would use any botulinum toxin for silurea? It's not intuitive as we think about our field of movement disorders using botulinum toxins to reduce overactive muscles um, and movement disorders. Why would it work for silurea? Well, these are still, um, uh, uh, the production slab is still driven by a neural response. Um, it, it's being innervated by a nerve which is releasing acetylcholine to the gland and telling it to produce saliva. And so although we're not hitting nicotinic receptors like we are in the case of muscle, we're hitting muscarinic receptors, but the botulinum toxins seem to work on both. And so you can reduce production of saliva uh, by injecting the gland with the botulinum toxin. So the botulinum toxin goes to the gland, it attaches to the muscarinic receptor, gets internalized, cleaves the protein, and prevents release of acetylcholine. Right. So it's interesting that uh, we've thought so much about this as a field for the nicotinic receptor, but botulinum toxin also binds to the muscarinic receptors. When, when you think about botulinum toxins, we have type A and type B, uh, two main types that are available commercially. Do they have any difference in their binding to muscarinic receptors in the gland? Where they're acting is a little different. Type A is working on a SNAP25 uh, protein, and the uh, type B is working on the SNR complex. But the effect is the same. It's preventing that acetylcholine vesicle from fusing with the synaptic membrane and releasing acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. Uh, so I don't know that that mechanism makes a difference. There's some thought that perhaps the type B may be more sensitive to muscarinic receptors, but that's not really proven. And I think that comes out of the data from the cervical dystonia trials where there was a higher rate of, of dry mouth seen among the myoblock studies using uh, uh, type B versus the type A products. But we don't know, and there aren't really large uh, comparative trials to tell us if type A or type B are the superior toxin. It's nice to have choices, though, and have more than one type of toxin. Let's talk about the botulinum toxin type A's. There are several that are available. Um, do you think these are differential in their effect in treating salary, or do you group these all together? I group them together um, because I don't know that they're really different. Um, they're different in terms of their complexing proteins, uh, but the toxin itself is the same. So there are different serotypes that we talked about, seven serotypes, and then each serotype has different strains. Um, the three commercially available type A products on the market we have are all serotype A, strain one, and they differ, uh, two of them have complexing protein one does not, that's the human. Uh, but within uh, less than a minute of injection and hitting physiologic pH in the body, the complexing proteins are removed. And so you can say within a minute, these toxins are really the identical product, the same light and heavy chain, and should work about the same. So their mechanism of action is not really known to be different. I find the different in cost, and that tends to drive my use. I tend to use the most cost-effective toxin uh, uh, for, for most purposes. Um, so um, I don't think, though, if, if any type A works, they probably all work for this purpose. Um, are these used on-label or off-label, these botulinum? Well, right now, uh, incobotulinum toxin A, which is Xeomin, is a FDA-approved and approved in Europe for salaria, and the other two are not. And then we mentioned myoblock, which is uh, Rima botulinum toxin B, is also approved by the FDA just in the U.S. for salaria. Does the indication make you want to only use drugs on label, or are you comfortable using the off-label ones too? I'm comfortable off-label. Uh, uh, it if a physician is comfortable with one particular product and they just want to use that product, I think that's fine uh, between the three type A's. Uh, if it if if it works for one type A, I think it would work for the other type A's.